Welcome back! In this video I'll be talking about the good old mutable instrument Braid. Ever since Platz was released, about a year ago, I've been seeing braids appear less and less in people's racks, which is pretty normal for a module that was released in 2013. But the cool thing about open source digital modules is that they can be completely renewed by a simple update. And this is what Renaissance does to the classic braids macro oscillator. This software totally rejuvenates braids and takes advantage of its unique quantizer mode to really set it apart from all other Eurorack oscillators. So let's get into it. The Renaissance firmware makes some pretty big changes to the feature set of braids. Because of internal memory constraints, some things had to go, like the text editor and the Morse code easter eggs. The QPSK algorithm is also gone, and the WTX4 uh, wavetable chord algorithm is being replaced by a family of much better chord algorithms, which we'll talk about in a moment. The first new algorithm introduced in Renaissance is SAM. This is a port of the 1982 speech synthesis program called Software Automatic Mouth, used most notably on the Commodore 64, Atari, and Apple II computers for speech synthesis. This algorithm allows you to generate spoken words and phrases. The only difference between SAM1 and SAM2 is the set of available words. Uh, you get 16 words on each page, and you then select the word using the color knob. So the way SAM works on Renaissance is like a granular sampler. Any given position of the timber knob will output a single grain continually. And as you scrub it clockwise, you will go through the entire word or phrase. This means that with a simple rising envelope, you can make the module say words, like the one I have here on stages, and if I trigger it, it says robot. And controlling the attack time will obviously make Sam speak at different speeds. So... And you can, of course, control pitch independently. And of course, this will track 1 volt per octave. The second big addition in Renaissance is a set of chord algorithms declined in two families, the stack algorithms and the chord algorithms. So let's start with the stacks. The stack algorithms are inspired by the 4MS SMR module, which is known for letting you dial in chords very easily. The, this set of algorithms makes very smart use of the internal quantizer in Braid. So you get five algorithms, uh, a sawtooth stack, a square stack, a triangle stack, a sine stack, and a wavetable stack. So what it does is that it generates six oscillators, the first one being at the main oscillator frequency, and the other ones spaced out along the scale you selected in the quantizer menu and the, if the quantizer is off, the notes will be spread in semitones. So let's have a listen. If I quantize it to Ionian, uh, the color knob is controlling the number of scale steps between oscillators. This is obviously a very useful tool for creating pads and complex chords. And then you have the chord algorithms. So the wavetable X4 chord algorithm from the original Braids firmware is now gone, and is being replaced by the chord algorithm family, which is also declined in five flavors, uh, which is sawtooth, square, triangle, sine, and wavetable. In this mode, when the quantizer is off, the color now browses through the same set of chords as in the original firmware, so you should know these by now. But with the quantizer enabled in one of the diatonic modes, so Dorian, Aeolian, Phrygian, and so on, the chords will always stay in key, 
picking the correct major or minor chord and extensions based on the configured quantizer mode and the root note. So for example, if I set the quantizer to Dorian and the root note to C, so quantizer Dorian and root, well, C, then sending a D value into the volt for octave input will output a minor triad. The color knob controls the chord extension, which is also being picked correctly based on the scale of the quantizer. So with some careful sequencing, this is a really fun way to create chord progressions. Okay, so the last thing to know about the two chord families is the function of the timber knob. Uh, the timber knob is going to affect the sound in the same way on both the stack and the chord algorithms. So for the saw algorithms, so the saw stack and the saw chord, uh, timber controls the amount of detuning between the waves. So it's kind of like each wave is duplicated, uh, so that's a total of 8 waves in the chord mode and 12 in the stack mode and you detune them by turning the knob. In the square algorithms, timber controls the pulse width of the wave, ranging from 0% when fully clockwise to 50% when fully counterclockwise. In the triangle and sine algorithms, Timber applies a wave folder to the basic wave shapes. And in the wavetable modes, Timber morphs through a set of wavetables, which is the same one that was originally used in the wavetable x4 mode of the braids firmware. So that's all for the chord and stack modes. And that concludes the main new features of Renaissance. Overall, I think installing this firmware is a no-brainer for all Braids owners. You get a bunch of new exciting features to play with, and you lose, well, pretty much nothing. You may even change your mind about selling your Braids if you were planning on doing that. Big thanks to Tom Burns for creating this piece of software and for his help in making this presentation. Check out his website. He has a bunch of interesting projects going on, most notably, an iOS app that makes it really easy to browse manuals and cheat sheets for dense modules like Disting, Braids, or Clouds. All the links are in the description. My next video will be on the Hemisphere firmware for the Ornament and Crime. It's probably going to take me a while to make it, but go ahead and subscribe if you want to see it at some point. Alright, bye!